everybody, welcome back to our channel. We're doing something a little bit different today for Vlogmas. I have been making crochet ornaments like crazy and I know some people were asking for the pattern, so that's what we're gonna do today. Um, so I have two different variations of this pattern. I have this uh, disc shape, which I think is a lot of fun. It's actually my favorite. And then we also have the more spherical shape here in the evil eye colors, which is a lot of fun. Uh, so you can use any colors you want. We're going to do some Christmas colors today, and I'm going to show you uh, the two different versions of this. So let's talk about the materials that you will need for this project. All right, so first things first, you are going to need your ornaments to put inside. We are using some plastic ornaments that we got from Michael's. Uh, I actually got both of these in these like giant packs. Uh, you can get these. It's 25 in a pack. They're 60% off at Michael's right now, which is such a good deal. Um, but you can buy individual ones as well. And again, we're using the disc and the sphere. The sphere is about eight inches around, uh, just for reference, because there's so many different sizes. And this one is about three inches across. Um, so if you're using a different sized ornament, you might have to play around with your hook size and or how many uh, half double crochets you have in the first round, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, so you got your ornaments. You're going to need a hook, of course. So for the disc shape, we're gonna use the four millimeter hook. And if you're doing the sphere, you're going to need a five millimeter hook. In all honesty, I was looking at these halves that I made ahead of time, because I'm just gonna show you one half today and then put it together they are very similar in size. You could honestly get away with doing either variation uh, for either of these, but I do think that they these two different ones fit very specifically. It might be a little bit of a stretch one way or the other, so I would try to stick to the pattern that I'm gonna give you today, but I think you could do either way. Um, you're also going to need a darning needle and a pair of scissors because these are like granny sunburst ornaments so you know there's gonna be a lot of tails to weave in we got to make that all happen all right so let's get started I am gonna show you guys today in depth how we make this disc one but I will tell you the variation so that you can also make the sphere you're gonna need some yarn for this project as well so today we are doing Christmas colors I have been using weight uh, four, so medium four, for all of my ornaments so far you can use any colors you want this is a great project if you have a lot of scrap yarn lying around that you want to use up because you only need a little bit for each round but today we're doing Christmas let's get it going all right so to get started we are going to make a slip knot very nice uh, and then we are going to take our again four millimeter hook and we are going to chain three okay so this project is going to be very tiny to start but it's going to bloom outward so we are going to yarn over and we are going to make a half double crochet in this third chain from the hook so it is the first chain that we made so insert the hook yarn over yarn over again pull through three and we have our half double crochet so we are going to make 10 more of those for a total of 11 and then our remaining chain two from the starting chain is going to be our 12th half double crochet so in total it's gonna be like we have 12 so I will meet up with you guys at the end of this round and show you where we're going to join. All right, so this is what it's gonna look like. We have our 11 half double crochets, so we are going to go into the top of that chain two. Make sure you get under both pieces there. You're gonna yarn over and you're gonna slip stitch, and that is going to give us our 12th half double crochet. I like to yarn over again, and then we're gonna cut this leave a little tail for later Oop. and uh, we're gonna pull through to secure that so that is what the first round is gonna look like and just real quick if you are making the sphere ornament I recommend taking your five millimeter hook 
and you're still going to chain three. You're gonna do your half double crochets into that first chain, but we are only going to make nine half double crochets and we're gonna join into that starting chain for a total of 10. All right, so back to the disc. We are going to change colors now for round two, any color you want. And again, we are gonna make a slip knot. I know everybody has different techniques for changing colors and starting new rounds and stuff like that. This is what I do. So I'm going to insert my hook. You can honestly do any of these chains, but I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna put my hook through whoop, both parts of that chain. And I'm going to put my yarn on, pull through, and we're gonna chain two, okay? So now we're gonna put a half double crochet in that same chain, that same stitch, and yep, half double crochet. Sometimes I get ahead of myself. <laughs> so that uh, chain two will count as a half. So you have two half double crochets here. We're gonna chain one, and then we're going to go into our next stitch with another, whoop, with another half double crochet. We're going to do number two, half double crochet. And then we're going to chain one and go into the next stitch. So again, two half double crochets and then a chain one. So you're going to be doing that all the way around. This is what it's going to look like. You're going to get this effect uh, for round two and you're gonna I'll meet up with you uh, at the end of this row all right so I'm doing my last chain here before I finish the round so you can see we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve of these half double crochet clusters so we are going to slip stitch into the top of this chain two to finish out this round. So we do a little slip stitch. Very nice, very nice. And then we are gonna chain and we are going to snip snip. Again, you wanna leave a little tail so you can weave that in later and make it all nice and clean. Pull that, night, that knot tight. And then just to show if you are doing this sphere, ornament, <laughs> you are going to have 10 of these clusters. And that's the same thing for the next round. You're always going to have 10 for the sphere, and you are going to have 12 if you are doing the disc. All right, so going into round three now, we have changed our color, we do our slip knot, and we are back in the game. You can join in any spot on this, as long as you are in one of these chain one spaces in between the half double crochet clusters. So I'm going to join my yarn here and I'm going to do another chain two to start. We're gonna do a half double crochet and I don't know about you guys, but I like to secure in my tail for a few of these clusters uh, just to make it easier later to weave in the tails. So again, half double crochet. Now we're gonna do three in each cluster and that chain two on the starting one does count as a half double crochet. So once we have our cluster, we're gonna chain one and we're gonna go into the next chain one space and we're going to put three half double crochets, two and three. Oop. There we go, chain one, go into that next chain one space. We're gonna put in our three half double crochets again. Here's two and here's three. No, nope. <laughs> sometimes you miss, right? There is number three and we're gonna chain one and we're gonna keep following that pattern around our circle again. All right, so we are about to finish round three. We have our last chain one here, and we are going to slip stitch into the top of that chain two. 
Whoops. <laughs> Sometimes these slip stitches will really get you. But you want to make sure you're going under both pieces of that chain. Okay, so we slipped, we stitched, and we yarned over. So we can finish up this round. And I just want to show you what this looks like at this point. Again, we are doing the disc right now. So we're going to have 12 clusters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And if you are doing the sphere, you will have 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Sometimes I need to double count for my own sanity just to make sure. Uh, so now we're going to go ahead and do our last round. It's very quick, so that's a lot of fun. If you want to make these as a gift, you can make a bunch in one night, just pop them off. Very fun. Um, so as usual, we're going to start with our slip knot. And now we are going to, again, well, actually, no, we're not going to go into the chain one spaces. We're going to be doing single crochets in each of these stitches, including the chain one spaces. So I guess you could go right into that chain one space, but I like to go into the actual chain instead of the space. We're going to attach our yarn. We're going to pull through. Okay, so yarn over, chain one, and then in that same stitch, I like to do my first single crochet. I just like having that, uh, that chain there. So again, we're going to go through every stitch around, and we're going to make a single crochet. And that's going to be the same whether you're doing the disc or you're doing the sphere. We're just doing our single crochets all the way around. So I will meet up with you guys at the end of this round. All right, I am placing my final single crochet here in the round. And then I'm going to slip stitch, not to this chain one, but to the first single crochet of the round. So slip stitch there. We're gonna do our chain here. And I like to leave a really long tail uh, on one of the halves because we are gonna use this to sew this puppy up. So I'm gonna leave a long tail. I'm gonna cut, Oop. <laughs> maybe. And then I'm gonna pull through to finish that round. So before we sew our two halves together, we got we to gotta do something about this. So we're going to weave in our ends so it looks nice and pretty like that on the back because you don't need all this. Um, so you can weave in your, your tails however you want. I wouldn't worry too much. You know, don't get too crazy with this because it's not like you're going to be wearing this. It's just going to be chilling on top of a plastic ornament. So I like to just, you know, go through... Here we go, maybe like back and forth twice, I think is good, sufficient enough for this project. And then, uh, whoop, sometimes you get a little tangled in there. Then we're gonna snip this nice and close. Yeah, so we're gonna weave in all of our tails and then we'll be back to sew it together. All right, make sure you don't weave in your super long tail that you left. So now is the most satisfying part of this whole project. We are going to sew these two halves together to make a little jacket for our ornament. So make sure you are putting the wrong side inward, right? We want the, the right side facing out. So we are going to whoop, put our needle on here. There we go. And we are gonna start connecting this. So you wanna start sewing them together without the ornament in it. It's just gonna be a lot easier. Uh, now, I'm gonna do the mattress stitch today. You can do the whip stitch. It's, you know, whatever you prefer. But I'm gonna do the mattress. So it doesn't have to line up here. You can do that if you want to. Uh, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put my needle through the other side. And I'm gonna go through both parts of this chain and I'm gonna pull through, make sure this is nice and tight together. And then from this side, I'm gonna go under here. Again, I'm going through both parts of the chain, both loops of the chain, I should say, front and back loop, and I'm gonna pull through. So now again, you're just going from half to half, 
you want to make sure these chains are lined up. You don't want to skip any. You want to try not to do any twice. I know I definitely do some twice every once in a while by accident. It's not the end of the world. You just don't want to do the whole thing like that. But we're going to keep going back and forth, getting all these loops, all these chains sewn together with our mattress stitch. And we're going to keep doing this until we have just a little bit of space left. You want to make sure you can fit your ornament into the pocket. I'm going to show you what that looks like. So don't sew the whole thing together and forget to put the ornament inside. You want to leave a little pocket before you sew up the rest of it. So I'll come back in a few minutes and show you what that's going to look like. All right, so we have been sewing, but we left this bit open so that we can put our ornament in there. Get ready. Here we go. Whoa, it fits. <laughs> so you don't want it to be like too big and like blah. So it's good that we have to pull a little bit here to close it. So we want to line this up so that our starting point is going, <laughs> Bowie is like clawing me, so that our starting point is going to line up here and we're going to make this nice and snug. So we are going to finish sewing here until we get to the top. And this part, oh my God, it's just like, you know, you're almost done with the project. It's looking fresh AF. <laughs> this is like your victory lap. So just go ahead and sew that up and then we're going to uh, come back in when we get right to the end. All right, we're almost done here. We still got a little bit of space. So we want to make this nice and tight. So we're going to keep going back and forth. And you want to make sure that you're getting to those stitches that you did not sew yet. We want this to be nice and tight. Let's do one more on this side. And then we're going to make sure that this doesn't get away from us. We're going to go through from underneath, make a little knot here. We're going to pull that super tight. And then we're going to go back in under one of these loops and you're going to hide this a little bit, but we want to get around to the other side. So we're going to go through these single crochets here. Just hide this tail and get to that other side. All right. Now we're going to come up on one of these top loops. And we're going to kind of close this even tighter if we can. You don't have to make a knot on this side, but I think it's nice to also do the knot over here. Okay. And then we're just going to go ahead and we are going to hide this tail in our single crochets in that last, you know, that fourth round that we did. Okay. Go there. Maybe we'll go back one more time just to make it extra, extra secure. Here we go. And voila, it's time to trim this yarn right there so we can't see it. And we have our ornament. So you can put uh, a little hook on here to hang it up. You can put some ribbon. You could even do like a little yarn loop, whatever you want. But that is our... Uh, disc ornament and then you can see what the finished product looks like again for the sphere nice right so that's a lot of fun <laughs> um, and it's gonna be the same process to close this one up as well you're just gonna do your mattress or your whip stitch and uh, you know secure that around the top so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you make your own projects based off of this, I would love to see pictures. So please tag me in them, send them to me. And if you just liked watching it and you want to buy an already made ornament, uh, we have the link below for my Etsy store. If you want to check that out, we are selling these bad boys in all different colors. So thank you all so much for watching. Uh, maybe we'll do something like this again in the future. But until next time, much love. <laughs>